Ed, how are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, Dougal. Hello there. Did you have a good time? <laughs> great, great. <laughs> Everything here's been fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong here at all. There's no problems here at all. School reunion. Keep on talking. Oh, <clears throat> uh, I was at the old school reunion. Where's this go? Father, do you think a cup of tea might calm you down? Oh, Father McGuire, you're back, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do something. Father Creeley's gone mad. It's this football thing. God almighty, is it that time of the year again? Yes, and he thinks Father Burns trying to find out his tactics for the match. I mean, it's only a stupid game of football, for goodness sake. Mrs Doyle, I'm sorry, but no. There's nothing stupid about football. And there's nothing at all stupid about the annual all-priest five-a-side over-75s indoor football challenge match <laughs> against Rugged Island. <laughs> Anyway, Dougal, you were saying about the school reunion. Well, I didn't recognise any of them. And you know what, Ted? They'd all become firemen. I was the only one there who wasn't a fireman. Can you believe that? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Dougal, uh, you didn't go to a fire station or something by mistake. <laughs> ah. a bit mad there. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with me. Everything with me is fine. Ed, uh, I'm going to have to do something and you're not going to like it. Call it female intuition or whatever the male equivalent of female intuition is, but this isn't going to go down well in the Ted camp at all. I think... <laughs> Sorry, Ted. You were going a bit too mad. Oh God, what have I done? Look at the room. Look at the room. You're right, Dougal. I have to get a hold of myself. <sighs> but, Ted, being bugged by Dick Burner, that's not very likely, is it? Come on, Ted, look at you. You look terrible. <laughs> I've been having trouble getting any sleep at all. I'm going to try this stuff. Dreamy, sleepy, nighty, snoozy snooze. <laughs> Sleepy nighty snoozy snooze. Yes, it's a brand based alcoholic chocolate sleeping aid. It's banned in most European countries, so that means it's very good. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I'll go and get us both an ice cream. That'll calm us down. Oh, that'll be nice. <sighs> Where are you going to get an ice cream, though? Oh, there's an ice cream van outside. Is there? <laughs> it's not going to sell much ice cream out there. Go, 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 Good God, that's an awful defeatist attitude, Father Cullen. I'm holding you back for extra training. You'll stay here until seven. Do 15 laps of the pitch. But off you go. <laughs> God, I don't know. The attitude of those lads. There was a time when the over-75s team put their heart into it. But now they're just... Kick the f***ing ball! <laughs> All over the pitch. Dick Burns lot of a new fella. Supposed to be flip hot, an Italian. Oh yes, the Italians know about football, all right. 
Uh, and, of course, the world of fashion. God, Ted, do you remember that fellow who was so good at fashion, they had to shoot him? <laughs> Where's Nick Dorley? Well, the jack doesn't turn up. Nick doesn't turn up. Our main bloody strike force, and they're not bloody here! You wouldn't think Father Jack was any good at football, would you, Ted? No. Ah, but then you see him out there. Beautiful player. Poetry in motion. Did you tell me once Jack had a trial with Liverpool? No, uh, he was on trial in Liverpool. <laughs> Wonder where Nick is, though. God, yeah. I mean, Jack's good, but if anything happened to Nick, we'd be up to our necks and flip. And with this new fella on Dick's team, we need Nick at the very peak of his powers. <laughs> so there's no way he'll be able to play. <laughs> no. No, he he's dead. <laughs> it's completely out of the question, then. <laughs> Is it? Is it completely out of the question? <laughs> Come on, Ted, you're clutching at straws. Come on, lads. You're right. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Sorry to hear you died. Uh, from Father Hegarty in Chicago. <laughs> Does that coffin have a fax machine in it? Oh, yes, it's the latest thing. <laughs> and look at this. You see, this display here tells you how long you've been buried, and uh, this one tells you how deep down the coffin is. Isn't it amazing? And with these humidity controls, Father Nick won't start decaying till, oh, sometime next year. Now, you've got to stop buying this catalogue stuff. It's a complete waste of money. <laughs> I mean, look, a remote control wheelchair. Why would you need that? You'd probably get more use from those fake joke arms you got. Oh, those. <laughs> well, they seemed funny at the time. <laughs> also, they... It reminded me of my own arms. <laughs> Fake arms. Nile, honestly, what kind of a situation could possibly require either a radio-controlled wheelchair or, or a pair of joke arms? <laughs> Only, I would imagine, a completely ludicrous one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, do you think you can win this match without Father Nick? <sighs> I don't know. He has a great partnership with... Had. He had a great partnership with Father Jack up front. God, if Dick Byrne wins, we're using the forfeit system again. Last year when we lost, Dick made me photocopy my own rear end. <laughs> Excuse me. They'll never let me back in that library again. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's for you. H Hello? I am going to win again, Ted. <laughs> ha! That's what you think, Dick Byrne. But we've got some... Oh, 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 wait a minute. How did you know I was here? <laughs> Damn you, Father Dick Byrne! <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. More bad news, Dougal. Oh, no, 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 no. I've just been speaking to Father Ned Fitzmorris. He tripped on a paving stone and one of his kneecaps fell off. <laughs> There's no way round it. I'm going to have to put him in goal. <laughs> God, Ted, I can't wait for tomorrow to get back into the old physio role again. <sighs> Running onto the pitch with the magic sponge and doing all physio-type things. <laughs> Dougal, do you know exactly what the sponge does? Soaks up germs. <laughs> Dougal, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. But I was thinking of a new role for you this year. Right. Um, I'd like you to... keep an eye on the corner flags and make sure no one steals them. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. I thought you were going to give me something completely stupid to do. <laughs> But, wow, watching the corner flags. Big responsibility. Football, 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 football. What you men see in it, I don't know. A load of men kicking a bit of leather around the field. <laughs> you men, the things you think are great fun. 
<laughs> like going to the films. A lot of men sitting around looking at films. <laughs> and roller coasters. A lot of men in a roller coaster going up and down on a big metal track. <laughs> and sailing. A lot of men in a big boat floating around in the sea. <laughs> and shouting. A lot of men going around shouting. <laughs> and so forth. Well, Mrs Doyle, uh, there's more to football than you think. <laughs> in fact, I got your book about it. Oh. <laughs> All right, Father. I'll give it a go. God, Ted. Jack's been like that for a good long time. He wouldn't be dead again, would he? <laughs> ah, no, he's, he's probably just dreaming of his old sporting days. Today's the day. <laughs> Got the hang of it yet, Dougal? It's harder than you think, Ted. <laughs> the trick is to try and keep your eye on it. Ted. I was uh, just eating my breakfast. <laughs> Dougal, that's a fib. <laughs> what are you really doing? I... I I've lost the flag, Ted. I, I just put it down for a second and, and the next thing it was gone. Oh, Ted, you're going to have to give me an easier job. <laughs> it's just too much too soon. <laughs> Dougal, look at Father Jack. Would he give up so easily? Would he? Look at that steely determination. <laughs> that air of defiance, that... I just realised, Jack's been asleep for 14 days. <laughs> oh, my God! He's drunk an entire bottle of dreamy, sleepy, nighty, snoozy snooze. <laughs> Well, there he is, Ted, Father Romeo Sensini. <laughs> 17 caps with the Vatican over 75s. Looks after himself. Drinks only very, very fine wine. Can climb two flights of stairs unassisted. Needs only one nun to help him get out of a chair. <laughs> you haven't a chance. That's what you think, Dick. We've put Father Hackett through a rigorous training schedule. He's never been fitter. Ha! <laughs> Father, Father, please wake up. But what are we going to do? Oh, I can't believe we're in this completely ludicrous situation. <laughs> Mighty Mrs. Doyle, how could you find this type of thing interesting? That's what I thought. Sit down. But look at this. <laughs> Ready? Ready?
Close him down! Close him down! <laughs> oh, Mary, have you got me glasses? Sincini's got an open goal. If we don't do something soon, he's going to score within a matter of minutes. <laughs> going to have to get tighter on the Italian. <laughs> Go wide! Go wide! <laughs> I know you have to be back in the home by eight, but just remember one thing. <laughs> you are carrying the whole of Craggy Island on your shoulders. Uh, metaphor, Jim. He's just me back, you see. Jim, it's a metaphor. Didn't mean it literally. Try not to jump into the flow here. Now, I want you to go out there and play the best game of what remains of your lives. I want you to get Dick Burns' team and rip them to shreds. Uh, metaphor again, Jim. <laughs> now, get out there and let's lick some arse! <laughs> Kick some arse! <laughs> We're gonna win, Cyril. I think I'm gonna want a souvenir of this game. Go get me a corner flag. <laughs> Go get me a corner flag. Oh, yeah. yes, yes.
out next year, lads. <laughs> you lost, Cyril. <laughs> Goodbye, Dick. Goodbye, Cyril. Ah, uh, can they not stay and have a drink, Ted? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dick has to go home and do his forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> the forfeit? What did you give them, Ted? Dick, he has to kiss Cyril on the cheek. <laughs> ah, brilliant! <laughs> Cyril won't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> Dick will hate having to kiss another man. He's notoriously homophobic. <laughs> Ted, you should have this. You deserve it. No, I, uh, I, I think we'd better head on home. I'll go on, Ted. Have a glass. <laughs> Wait a second. These are fake hands. <laughs> Got the forfeit, Ted. Oh, God. Dick said it was an extra special forfeit because you were such a big cheating bastard. <laughs> All right, open it, open it. Yeah. The tension is killing me. Ah, don't worry, Ted. He probably just wants you to clean his car or something. What is it? <laughs> Break it to me gently. All right, Ted. By this time next week, you have to... What? You have to... Kick Bishop Brennan up the arse! <laughs>